All right, hello everybody. <clears throat> hello, hello, and welcome. How is everyone today? <clears throat> What's up? What's going on? Phil here live on the stream. Another full day of new gameplay streaming for you guys today. Brand new releases. Hope you guys are excited. What's on the agenda? What can you guys expect? Well, <clears throat> let's go ahead and let's talk. All right, well, today will be day two of my Sea of Thieves cooperative gameplay. Um, if you were here yesterday, uh, you basically got a treat because <laughs> the game does not hold your hand and does not really explain anything. Um, <clears throat> it pretty much expects you to just figure out everything on the fly, including how to actually sail a pirate ship. Um, and how to do all the various things in the game, how to navigate, how to figure out, you know, where are the outposts, where's this, where's that. So, all of that, uh, being said, uh, it was quite a fun stream, there were a lot of fails, there was a lot of interesting stuff, trying to figure out how to do stuff for the first time, uh, encountering the first enemies, trying to catch animals, it was pretty good, I definitely enjoyed it, and it seems that in general... Those who were here for the stream also really enjoyed it. The, the general feedback that I received was that yesterday's stream was really good. A lot of people were like, man, you know, I didn't expect the stream to be that entertaining, but it ended up being really entertaining um, because, you know, Phil, number one, had never played the game before and didn't know what he was doing and was trying to figure it out on the fly. And number two, <clears throat> it was, you know, genuine reactions to everything that was going on. It wasn't like I was overhyped for the game and kissing its butt like a lot of people were doing on launch day to try to get hype. I didn't dress up like a goddamn pirate on webcam. <laughs> so a lot of people appreciated that. An honest gamer playing the game on day one for the first time trying to figure it out, you know. Now, admittedly, <clears throat> admittedly there were a bunch of fails because we didn't know what we were doing. And also admittedly, you know, we didn't get too far. I mean, what, what in essence, what did I really do in my three hours of Sea of Thieves gameplay yesterday. Well, I ran around a town trying to figure out what the vendors were, got a few quests, got on a boat, immediately got attacked because didn't know what the hell was going on. Someone was spawn camping, uh, died, came back, tried to figure out how to pilot the boat, sunk the boat, died again, came back, learned a little bit more about how to pilot the boat, you know, then actually got, you know, somewhere, figured out how the questing worked. <clears throat> Went to a few islands, eventually went and got chicken coops. Uh, searched more islands for the chickens we needed for the mission. Grabbed the chickens, finally brought it back and traded them in. And that was the entirety of the stream. So, you know, three hours just to do some basic stuff that probably if you understood what you were doing in the game, it probably would have taken like 15 minutes. Like, no lie. It probably would have taken like 10 minutes to get, you know, the coops, five minutes to catch the chickens and then go back. So, obviously, if you know what you're doing, you can get a lot more done. All right. <laughs> Now, the good news is, um, now I kind of understand how the ship needs to be piloted, all right? Um, and today, uh, what I'd like to do to start off for missions is I like to start with a combat mission. Um, instead of doing this merchant mission where you're just trying to catch random item or items or animals and deliver them, I want to see, you know, combat-wise what these combat missions are, okay? Um, so that's kind of my focus today now. FYI, guys, today we're going to have a new group of players, <clears throat> and um, I will be inviting them to party in a couple, uh, well, after after pre-stream ends, let's say it that way. <clears throat> um, once pre-stream ends, I'll be adding them to the party just like yesterday, forming the party, and we'll be setting sail to try to do an, a combat mission, all right? Uh, FYI, it's Ren Jesse James, I think Biaxial, I don't have the names in front of me. They're on my computer screen. I'm going to go grab them right before I invite them to the party. Uh, but I put it up on my schedule that I posted on Twitter last night. So I certainly hope that those people were paying attention. Now, if they weren't, we do have two people on standby as well. So depending on what happens here today, you know, we're going to get a full party no matter what. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. You know, the thing is, yesterday, I didn't really get enough of a taste of the game in my opinion i was really disappointed that after you know three hours of playing i really needed to take a leak so i took a break i come back and all the servers had crashed i was like oh come on you know hopefully that doesn't happen today hopefully today the servers have uh you know adjusted to the load that they're holding they're holding right now and 
Hopefully today will be a better, more streamlined experience. Also, um, <clears throat> if you guys uh, were here for the stream, you may have noticed the, the achievements were all glitched out. Like, two hours into playing, I got a random achievement, you eat a banana. And it's like, wait a minute, I ate a banana two, day, you know, two hours ago. And then I think I got an achievement for like a mission or something. I don't know, it was like pilot the ship or mission, or you know, navigate the ship. I was like, dude, we've been sailing for three hours and now I get this achievement. And it's funny because right now on my Xbox uh, <clears throat> Xbox One dashboard, I'll actually show you guys. Hold on. See, right over here on my Xbox One dashboard, it's showing these idle messages. And what it actually does is it cycles through achievements for games that you've been playing recently that you didn't get. And it's showing me like two or three achievements from Sea of Thieves that I, I should have gotten already. One of them's like, earn, you know, earn a rank promotion for a faction. Now, I'm already rank three in the Merchant's Faction. I already should have gotten that. <clears throat> but I didn't get it, even though it didn't trigger properly. So apparently this game, <clears throat> because of all the server issues that it's having, um, sadly has a lot of issues with the achievements that they're not working. Um, so I don't know if I'll get them or not. Not that it's a huge deal. I just think it's weird. I've never played a game on Xbox before where the achievements were glitched and didn't trigger properly. Like, never has this happened. I mean, every once in a while, I'll see a delayed one. I've never seen where you just don't get the achievements for shit you've done. That's kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> so, uh, that's today's first stream here. Main stream will be co-op and Sea of Thieves. You know, it's funny because the overwhelming feedback that I got after yesterday's stream was that it was one of, uh, it was a really good stream. People really enjoyed it. There were some people who really weren't even interested in the game, but they said that the stream was very uh, fun to watch me play. Again, because I was honest, because I, you know, was trying to learn everything on the fly. Seeing the co-op aspect was pretty good. You know, people liked that. Um, and it's funny, because I got a few people who said, I can't believe it. I went to see Phil's stream. I expected rage, and he was going to be acting like a jerk, and the stream wasn't like that. And I'm like, well, yeah. <clears throat> Because generally, that's not what my streams are about. You know, people who believe that are people who only watch the negative montages. They don't actually come and watch the streams at all. They watch highlights of people only taking the negative montage moments, you know, and posting them up. And, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a video that only highlights that shit. For, I'll give you guys a perfect example. All right, here's a really perfect example. All right. Ultra Street Fighter 2. This is a game that last year, when I played it over the course of the summer of 2017, I overwhelmingly dominated my opposition. I won way more matches than I lost. It was just really good, high-level gameplay. Of course, there was tons of lag and tons of bullshit, because the game allows overpowered characters like Akuma to be played in ranked matches. So when I did fight one of those, I raged. All right, because it is it's true. It's completely unfair. It's broken, and Capcom are a bunch of assholes for putting that shit into ranked gameplay. So what do the idiots do? Do they actually may, you know, show an accurate representation of what those streams entailed, which was mostly high-level gameplay with respectful commentary and every once in a while some rage? No, of course not. You get the montage that shows Phil's yelling at this person, right? And it only shows, like, <clears throat> you know, maybe literally 1% to 2% of what actually took place on the majority of streams. Over the summer, I played it in June, July, August, and September. And I played it probably about 12 times or more. So, you know, you're talking a good 30 hours or more of gameplay. They probably showed like 15 minutes. The 15 minutes where I raged. But that's representative of my streams, right? Of course not. You know? And they say, oh, Phil sucks. This is why you don't play Ultra Street Fighter 2. Phil sucks. It's like, huh? No, look at my win-loss record. You know, I was in the top 100 and I was doing a whooping ass and I was doing really good. How can you tell me that I suck at the game when the majority of matches I'm dominating the opponents and I have a, an amazing win-loss record? Oh, because you only focus on the bullshit. <clears throat> so it's kind of the same thing here, you know, <clears throat> where, you know, I have a really great stream yesterday, you know, honest reactions, great co-op gameplay with people, you know, really fun. I'm enjoying myself. Everyone watching the stream enjoys it. And then some people are like, wow, I'm so surprised. You know, this is nothing like what people say Phil's streams are. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Um, you know, I definitely recommend you come by and watch for yourself to see what actual streams actually are rather than just listening to a bunch of negative kids who want to spin stuff to try to get views on their videos on YouTube. You know what I mean? All right, so there you go, folks. First stream today. More Sea of Thieves co-op. This should be fun. 
Uh, hopefully focusing more on melee uh, style combat. Well, not melee, but, you know, combat in general. Um, <clears throat> and hopefully getting some constructive stuff done now that I, I pretty much understand how to pilot the ship and stuff like that. Okay. Um, tonight, I'll be finishing up the South Park, the Fractured But Whole DLC. Last night, I got pretty far into it. People were saying maybe 45 minutes to an hour left tops in the DLC. So if that is the case and I do re beat it really fast... Then tonight, more than likely, I'll just switch over to PUBG for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> since that wouldn't require me to actually change any of my streaming settings, I could just easily swap on the fly and continue streaming tonight, okay? Um, now, if this is the case, all right, this means that tomorrow, Thursday, um, I am up in the air here um, uh, about what I'm going to do tomorrow night because my original plan was that this week was going to be Sea of Thieves, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mainstream, and then it was going to be South Park, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, second stream. But if I do beat the South Park DLC tonight, like it seems like I'm definitely on track to do, then what do you guys want to see Thursday night? Do you want to see more Sea of Thieves? Do you want to see Call of Duty? Do you want to see PUBG? Do you want to see Ultra Street Fighter 2? You know, what do you guys want to see on Thursday night stream? Um... I may do a poll overnight tonight to see what people vote for. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I'm curious. Uh, you know, I'm very curious about, uh, you know, what you guys would want to see on a, a random stream like that. All right. Now, keep in mind, this Friday, I'm off. Friday is my day off from streaming to spend time with my girlfriend and go out and do some errands and stuff during the day. But then I'll be back Saturday with the premiere of Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. That's right. Nino Kuni 2 will begin on Saturday. And I'll either be playing it just one stream or maybe two. I haven't decided yet. Um, <clears throat> at all. Um, about if I want to do a full day of it or not. It's probably going to be determined on how much I like the game. Um, and then, you know, it'll be Nino Kuni uh, over the next few days. Until the new release is next week, balanced with other stuff, probably Sea of Thieves. So, so there you go. Um, yeah. So, what do you guys want to see Thursday night? It's going to be up to you. I'll probably do a poll on Twitter tonight with the choices being more Sea of Thieves, uh, PUBG, Call of Duty, or Ultra Street Fighter 2. All right. All righty then. Uh, excuse me. All right. Outside of that, um, there's not much else really to talk about. You know, it's a fun week for me so far. I really enjoyed uh, playing Ultra Street Fighter 2 earlier this week. Oh, by the way, there's a couple updates I should give you guys. Number one, the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection now has an official release date. May 29th, 2018. So, sadly, a little bit later than I would have liked. I actually wanted it to happen as soon as possible. Um, but sadly, it did not. Okay, sadly... um. Very sadly, uh, we're going to have to wait till the end of May. I wanted it to happen as soon as... I was hoping for, like, m April. I was hoping for it to come out earlier, but no, it's apparently coming out later. <clears throat> now, the good news is, the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection will include a ton of games, all right, including Street Fighter 1, all the versions of Street Fighter 2, all the versions of Street Fighter 3, all the versions of uh, Street Fighter Alpha, okay? But only four games are going to be playable online. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, and Street Fighter Alpha 3. So there will be multiple games to play online, ridiculous amount of content that could come out of that collection, being that I played all of those games <clears throat> back in the day. All right. And I had a lot of fun playing them. And the fact that... Um, you know, I, I am high-level player at, for example, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I'm, I'm one of the best. Uh, I can definitely teach you guys all about the game, show you matchups, all kinds of shit. Uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, I'm also quite good, but I'm not one of the best for sure because I never really focused on it uh, until very, very end of, at the end of its life cycle. Like, right before Street Fighter 4 came out, I was playing Street Fighter 3 competitively and getting really fucking good at it to the point where I was uh, red parrying in the middle of, co of hit string combos and stuff and... You know, doing real well. I think the last tournament I ever attended, I got third place or something real good like that. Um, <clears throat> so that being said, you know, I really do like Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I was just never a top player at it or anything like that. But I could do some good stuff in it. 
So I'd be very interested in playing that. And then, of course, Street Fighter Alpha 3. That one, I'm not so good at. That one, I never really liked that game that much. Uh, it relied far too much on uh, the V combo system, which was pretty glitchy and wonky. It was really weird with floaty hitboxes and weird cr unblockable cross-up bullshit. And in particular, I didn't really like that game that much, but I will definitely play it anyway because it's in the collection. So this collection is going to be great. It's going to result in a ton of content that I can make for you guys. You know, fun gaming streams and all these different games. Um, and of course, like I said, in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo in particular, I could definitely do like little like streams. Okay, today we're just going to play with Balrog and I'm going to show you guys matchups with Balrog and how to play them and give you tips. You know, I could definitely do that kind of thing in the game because I'm that good at the game. I could teach you basics. I can show you footsies, strategies, and different matchups with certain characters. I think that's going to be a really good opportunity for me to do something different that normally I don't do. Okay. Uh, so I'm really excited for this. Um, late May, though. So we got about two months to go uh, until we can, you know, get into that. But I am all over that when it releases. Seriously. Like, I'm all about that. I'm super pumped. I hope you guys are, too. <clears throat> okay. Also, there's a rumor, folks. A rumor. That the Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 rumors are true, meaning it is coming out. There is a remastered version of Modern Warfare 2 coming out, but supposedly from a, a respectably confirmed source, which I always love it when a media says that, but then they don't tell you what the source is. Supposedly, it mean, it's not going to have multiplayer. They're only remastering the campaign of the game and have no plans to include multiplayer, to which I have to scratch my head and say, hmm, it's 2018. Activision expects you to pay $20 for just the campaign of a nine-year-old Call of Duty game. Hmm. I wonder how many people will be willing to do that. <laughs> uh, the, hate to tell them, the demand is for the multiplayer. Not for the fucking campaign. Seriously, like, I don't understand what the hell they're thinking. But, uh, you know, pretty stupid. And uh, if that is the truth, then it's basically a non-release and no one's going to buy it. So... Pretty dumb, in my opinion. All right. Now, let's move on, folks. Let's go to the plug segment. Oh, by the way, I should say this. So, since yesterday, I finally got a taste of Sea of Thieves. I know what the game is. There's no story whatsoever, which I didn't know. Zero story. It's just cooperative gameplay. All right. Uh, having the stream stats on the screen would not be a hindrance. Meaning, you know, having top cheer, top tip, and the number of running subs that we have right now would not be a hindrance at all to the game. It's not like, oh, you're playing a narrative-based game and this thing is, like, annoying because it's on the screen bothering you, right? Um, I don't think so. I think it's going to be a pretty easy uh, thing to do, and it would not really bother anybody. So, for when I play Sea of Thieves, guys, I am going to have stream stats up, all right? And every once in a while, I'll, you know... Take a break here and, and update the stats with the, the top cheerer, top tipper, and, you know, how many subs we've got running here. All right? Sounds good? <clears throat> okay. All right, folks. So, let's get into some plugs. All right? Very quickly, we'll hit some plugs. And then I'm going to do shout-outs for people who have cheered, subbed, or tipped here on the pre-stream. All right? And then we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll get the, the party set up with today's cooperative uh, players. And then we'll go from there. Sounds good? All right. So, first of all, everyone, thank you very much for attending the stream. Thank you for being positive. Thanks for all the viewership that you've given me, in particular since I became a primarily a streamer in the last year. It is very much appreciated. And by the way, it is one year. If you remember, a year ago, I was playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's been a year now where my focus has been interactive streaming. I've been reading your messages and talking with you guys on streams daily. It's really cool. But in my opinion, a much better experience, more positive experience than I ever really had on YouTube. That's the truth. And I kind of wish that I did it sooner. <clears throat> so thanks to you guys for being supportive of the changes. And I hope that you enjoy today's streams. That being said, if you would like to go above and beyond just being a standard stream viewer or a watcher of my videos on YouTube. Reason being, I know some people watch this pre-stream as a video on YouTube rather than uh, on you know live on Twitch. <clears throat> well then. You ha there are other ways which you can go above and beyond and help support my efforts to continue doing this full-time as a job, all right, and continue to put out free and entertaining gameplay content for you on a daily basis. The first is my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, where your contributions to my monthly Patreon campaign 
allow me to afford doing this for a living. You know, cost of games, electricity, uh, internet, uh, equipment, etc., can be quite high at times, and things always come up unexpectedly that I have to drop money into. In particular, this next week I got to buy Nino Kuni 2, which I haven't bought yet. Far Cry 5, all right. Coming up in April, there's going to be a, a few pretty big releases, you know. So there will be some some decent amount of money I have to sink into stuff in the next couple of months. So your contributions help with that. But the cool thing is, when you pledge to my Patreon, you earn stuff for yourself called perks, depending on how much you contribute. So for example, some of the perks are getting text or verbal thank yous in my YouTube videos, getting uh, the ability to nominate and vote on games for uh, events and special marathons, being able to get your questions answered on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, that's coming up in April. So hint, hint, if you pledge this month, next month you'll get your question answered. Or even getting a private Q&A video made for yourself that could be upwards of 25 minutes long, all right? I won't go into detail, but check it out over at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. You'll see all the details there. Thanks to everyone who already is a contributor, and thanks to anyone who's considering pledging in the future, all right? <clears throat> all right, number two, folks. My Teespring shop, which you can see some of the product right there on your screen. Um, some pretty good stuff. Uh, you know, all kinds of logos, artwork, and designs created by my fans and viewers. It includes all kinds of fun merchandise like t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, mugs, and stickers. I can personally attest to the quality of the stuff because I own a bunch of it and I wear it in my streams regularly. All right. Um, give it a look. Anything you buy from my Teespring shop, I get a pretty sizable commission, so it helps me out directly. And, obviously, you get a nice piece of apparel or collectible, right? Now, if you do happen to buy anything from the shop, first of all, thank you very much. But number two, feel free to send me a picture of the, the item when you receive it. Uh, via my Twitter, at they call me DSP on Twitter. I'd be more than happy to share that with my over 25,000 Twitter followers. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Last but not least, guys. Certainly last but not least. If you're here live on the stream and you'd like to contribute by, by you know, oh, I want a shout out. Well, if you either cheer with bits, subscribe to the channel, or tip me, I, you will get a shout out during today's stream. Now, keep in mind a few things. Number one, the shout outs have to be... Uh, you know, obviously uh, appropriate. Can't say anything that's r ridiculously insulting. If it's insulting to me or if it's insulting to someone else or it's incendiary or trying to start trouble, I'm not going to do a shout out for that. In addition to that, I'm also uh, going to read things that are more concise. If you leave me a ginormous paragraph of information, chances are I'm not going to read it all versus if you leave one or two sentences, chances are I will. All right. So just a few tips if you really want to get a, you know, a better shout out during the stream. <clears throat> So that's number one. Number two, if you would like to get a visual recognition for your contributions during the stream, <clears throat> an actual animation on stream, you can either cheer 50 bits or more. You can subscribe to the channel, and when you do, click the share button afterward that pops up on your screen. Or you can tip me $5 or more. All right? That being said, all right, you will get a cool and awesome animation designed by my uh, moderator, Popsicolo. All right. <clears throat> Thank you to Popsicolo. Obviously, shout out to him for creating these awesome animations for us. We really do appreciate them. All right. So thanks to that for that, guys. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Now, also, as I said, we're going to have stream stats that are going on during the course of this stream. So we're going to have a running tally of subs, running tally of who's the top cheerer and the top tipper. Right now, the top cheerer is actually Mizern, so I'm going to update that right now. Um, and I'll be updating this periodically throughout the course of today's stream. <clears throat> Oops. There we go. So I'll be keeping, you know, an eye on it and updating it from time to time when I get a chance. So far, we don't have any tips, but Mizern with the top cheer so far, so thank you to Mizern. Um, two things, guys. Number one, we are making a big push for the end of the month. To hit a subscriptions goal of 500 subs, all right? We're at 438 right now. We could definitely do it, especially the fact that, you know, I'm playing new games. New games are coming out this weekend, new games next week. We're going to have an element of people coming in who normally wouldn't be here. Yesterday, we had a tremendous amount of people on the stream watching. I don't even know how many. People were telling me it was upwards of like 900 at one point. I don't even know because I wasn't looking at stream numbers. But <clears throat> people were telling me uh, that, you know, it was really good. So when we're bringing in newcomers like that, 
Um, we could definitely bring in new subs. What's the benefit of being a subscriber besides supporting me? Well, you get access to all of the fun emotes that people use in the stream chat. In particular, people seem, really seem to like this DSP Pepe emote. They seem to use this all the time. All right. <clears throat> um, but in particular, there's a ton of other fun, you know, fill-related emotes available. As well as earning the chat crown badge for how long that you've been a sub. You know, for three months or less, it's a bronze crown for over three months it's a silver crown for over six months it's a yellow or excuse me golden crown and then for one year it's the golden crown encrusted with beautiful rubies we do have some people who later this year will be coming up on the two-year crown uh which is a diamond crown but no one's gotten there yet because you know i just started streaming again on twitch in d november of 2016 so so there you go there's lots of benefits for you guys to subscribe and it obviously helps me out too Obviously, having uh, you know growth in subs allows us to have channel growth. But in particular, if we hit 500 subs this month, I'll be bringing back the Patrons' Choice playthrough, uh, where people will be nominating and voting on a game to play as a downtime game to balance out with all the new releases that I'll be playing. Uh, in particular, right now, um, you know some of the great games that come to mind that I've played as results of Patrons' Choice are Super Mario Sunshine, Spyro the Dragon, Yakuza. Um, Persona, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog games. You know, there's been a lot of games that the patrons have made possible. So, you know, if we hit 500 subs, I'm bringing that event back. So let's see if we can do that by the end of the month. All right. Now, last but certainly not least, this is very important, guys. I'm talking about it every day until April, you know, until pretty much the end of April uh, when this is resolved. All right. Um, it's very important to me. So please listen up. All right. Uh, I'm in a situation here that's pretty bad, personally, and I wouldn't bring it up unless it was serious. Tax-wise, here's what's going on. I moved to the state of Washington from the state of Connecticut three and a half years ago. Well, almost four years ago now, actually. It's already in March, so three more months it would have been six, uh, four years ago. Sadly, my tax attorney at the time did not do my taxes properly for almost four years. So I owe a large amount of back taxes to the state of Washington for operating a business here. Uh, and it's not my fault. I didn't know about it. And my tax attorney, it was his job to do it. And he didn't do it properly. So he screwed me over. All right. So people helped me out because I had a big lump sum of taxes due in January that I just found out about in the fall. I didn't have the money for it. So people rallied, helped me out in December. And we got through that hurdle in January, which then allowed my girlfriend cat to move in. And a lot of positive stuff has happened as a result. However, we're far from over here with this situation. What's going on now is, uh, number one, all those back taxes for the years of 2014 through 2016 are going to start coming due in April. I don't know what they are yet. I'm supposed to be told soon. Number two, because you guys helped me out in late 2017, my income went up for the year, and now I owe more federal taxes for 2017 than what I have paid. So that's coming due in April as well. And then on top of all of that, the federal government wants me to pay my first es estimated payment for my upcoming 2018 taxes also in April. So normally, I would only have one tax payment in April for, you know, the first payment for 2018. Now I have three. And I'm sorry, I'm not made of money. In particular, these last two months on YouTube have been terrible. January and February on YouTube, no exaggeration, have made the least amount of money I've ever made on YouTube. Now on Twitch, it's been good. The problem is... You know, it kind of evens out. Wow, Twitch is great, but YouTube's terrible, so it evens out to just being enough to pay my bills. I didn't make any extra money or anything to pay these taxes. So this sucks, all right? I'm in a bad position right now. So what I need from you is your help, all right? How can you help? Number one, pledge to my Patreon. Number two, buy stuff from the Teespring. And number three, if you're watching this live on stream, tip me during the stream, all right? How do you tip? Well... If you're watching the stream live and you look below the stream, there's a grid of information including plugs to like my website and YouTube panels and stuff like that, rules of the stream. There's also a section that says tips if you click on it, all right? <clears throat> if you click on it. Um, what the hell's going on in the stream chat? Some idiot is screaming with fucking capital letters. And it's, it's, it's distracting me. All right, I'm timing this guy out. He's annoying the fuck out of me. Okay. Let's try this again. So, if you look below my stream and you click on the tips section, it'll bring you to the tips page where you can either leave an anonymous tip or you can leave your name in a message if you'd like to get a shout out during the stream. Or, 
if you're on a mobile device and you can't see all that information, if you just type exclamation point tip into the stream chat, all right, the link will pop up. You can click on it and you can leave a tip via that method as well. All right, why Patreon, Teespring, or tips? Why does this help me? Because guess what? All of those, I get that those funds right away. So whatever you contribute via those, I get right away and I can put straight towards my tax issues in April, all right? Now, I'll be honest here. I have some money to put towards the taxes left over and I have a little bit of extra money saved up from the past couple of months because Twitch was good, but I don't have enough to pay all these taxes, especially because I don't know what they are yet. But from what I was told, the estimates, there's no way I have enough money. So if I can't pay my taxes in April, <clears throat> the problem now is I will have a rolling tax problem over the course of 2018 where fees, interest, all this kind of stuff will keep accruing and then they'll keep expecting me to pay more and more by the end of the year. If I can't pay all my taxes by the end of the year, we're in a situation where the only way that I'm going to be able to afford it moving forward is to sell my house, which I don't want to do. I love this house. I worked my ass off for 10 years and as a job for eight years to live here. Uh, and I can afford it. The thing is, I can afford to live here. As of last year, I was fine with the Twitch changes that I made and everything. I was paying all of my bills and everything was good. The problem is this fucking tax situation comes up out of nowhere and, and bites me in the ass when I have no control over it. And, you know, I did everything right. So this sucks that now I may lose my home because I'm in a situation of something that I did nothing wrong and there's no way that I can control it. All right. <clears throat> so all that being said, if you guys can help me out via Patreon, uh, Teespring, or tipping me during the streams, anything you contribute between now and, you know, these tax time that's due in April, it's all going towards the taxes and I'm greatly appreciative of anything you guys can contribute. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so thank you guys very much. All right, um, so let's go ahead and get to shout outs here. All right, in fact, I already can tell you stream stats are going to update. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's get you some shout outs. Let me scroll all the way down here. First of all, shout out to Infinite who did a 75 bit cheer overnight. Thank you very much, Infinite. Uh, Critical for Days cheered and said, Hey, Phil, I've been seeing a lot of fan art from your fans, but I don't really like this one. In particular, it lacks effort, and probably the guy took five minutes to do it. I'm not hating, but I want people to put effort in. Well, listen, no one else did any. <laughs> no one else did fan art. So I'd much rather have a, you know, rushed, taped together fan art than no fan art at all. So, you know, I'm not picky. And sadly, did you do fan art? And, you know, I'm not trying to be a jerk critical for days, but did you do fan art? No. Well, then guess what? You really shouldn't criticize this fan art. Because if you can't do better or didn't even put any effort in, you have no right to criticize what they did. That's the bottom line. It's just called nitpicking or, you know, trying to be some kind of a, you know, really elitist when you didn't do it yourself. So, you know, what grounds do you have to criticize this person? So, please stop. <clears throat> okay. Number two. Al uh, Al 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 Oh my God, Allosaurus Rex. Thank you. I almost couldn't read the name for some reason. Allosaurus Rex cheered and said, why do you put so much stock into what idiot, idiot detractors say about your Street Fighter 2 gameplay? I don't. I don't at all. I don't put any stock into it at all. All right. Um, what I was, the point I was making was that people, people other than me put stock into it. You know, people who don't watch my streams, don't watch my content at all, watch a stupid montage that's completely slanderous, defamatory, and not representative of what one of my actual gameplay streams is, and they think that it is. Oh, well, you know, I watched Phil play Street Fighter 2, and all he did was yell at Akuma players and swear, therefore, he's terrible at the game, you know, and it's all here. All I saw was him lose, so obviously he never won a match, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. Same thing with Sea of Thieves yesterday. So many people came to me and said, Phil, you know, we watched your stream for the first time in a long time, or maybe for the first time ever, and, um, you know, watching it, and they're like, what the hell? Um, this is good. This is actually quite good, and, you know, I, I can't believe the Phil stream was so good, because I've heard so many negative things. Well, that's the point I was making. There is no stock in anything these idiots say about me. That's the point I'm making. So it's actually the opposite of what you're saying is what the point I was trying to make. Okay. <clears throat> Critical for days cheered again. He says, I can't wait for you to stream Street Fighter 30th anniversary. Hope the games are good online and not being asked like Ultra Street Fighter 2 because if it sucks, some people would say, oh, you suck. I know, but that's the thing. If the online play is garbage and the connections are terrible, people will blame me. 
dudes, there's ridiculous amounts of evidence out there that I'm great at Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I've won tournaments. I was the highest placing uh, American player in 2005 at EVO. I've won multiple tournaments in different versions of the game. I've won EVO qualifiers. I mean, I, I, there's so much evidence, but people just want to ignore it all just to say that I suck just for the sake of getting a jolly or getting a dig at me, right? They're idiots. So, yeah, I know. It would really it would really suck if after all this hype being built up around the 30th anniversary collection, it comes out and the online play sucks, so I hope it doesn't. <clears throat> Mizern <clears throat> cheered and said, have you tried any of the Soul Calibur games? There's a new one coming out soon. Uh, yes, I have played Soul Calibur games. Absolutely, I have. Uh, in the past. In fact, uh, Soul Calibur for the Dreamcast, which I think was, I think that was the first one that was called Soul Calibur. <clears throat> it was actually an amazing game, and I played the hell out of it back in the day. And I have from time to time dabbled in the series. You know, I play with characters like Nightmare and Cervantes uh, and Mr. Rugi, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> oh, and Voldo, too. I really like Voldo. Um, have I ever played it at a competitive level? No, I haven't. I played it in arcades. I played it casually on console. I've never played the game at a competitive level. Um, <clears throat> so therefore, no, I would not say, oh, I whoop ass at the game or anything. But I do enjoy it. So when the new Soul Calibur comes out, yes, I would check it out. I'll probably play through, you know, whatever the story mode is. Try out a few characters, do some online play, dabble with it. It should be fun. All right. I got an anonymous dollar tip that says, you say everyone should wake up, but you seem to be the one stuck in a dream. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I have absolutely no, no idea what that means. I also got another dollar tip from that little voice in your head that says, I told you it would work itself out. Wait, it's not over. That's heavy. I don't even know what that is. Someone's leaving random dollar tips that don't make any sense, but I'm going to nevertheless... update the stream stats here. With the information. I don't know what the hell any of this means, but I'll still update it. <laughs> Very bizarre. Okay. Battle Duck 9000 did a 200 bit cheer to become the cheerleader for today. And he said, in a Manhattan accent, bits, bit, oh, bits, fresh bits, get them while they're hot. I guess he's pretending like he's a, a New York street vendor selling like roasted peanuts or something. Um, actually, they sell roasted uh, chestnuts during uh, the holiday season. So. Uh. Excuse me. All right. Battle Duck. Let's update that. <clears throat> 200 bit cheer. Thank you very much, Battle Duck. Appreciate that. Um, all right. Sea of Thief cheered and said, Phil, there's a thing called constructive criticism. You can criticize other people's work when it's constructive. That guy's right. The fan out for Sea of Thieves is lazy. Uh, okay. But again, here's what you guys got to realize. All right. There's a difference between constructive criticism and criticizing just for the sake of criticizing. So, let me ask you a question. When you criticize the Sea of Thieves fan art on pre-stream, oh, it's lazy. Okay. Now, obviously, the person who made that fan art isn't amazingly skilled. You can tell because they didn't, you know, you look at the quality of the fan art, right? So, do you really think that for someone who maybe took a little bit of effort and did as best as they could, the only person, by the way, who went out of their way to actually make fan art for the game, right? They do it, and now you basically shit all over them, publicly on stream. How do you think that makes them feel? Do you think they're now motivated to make more fan art? No. Now instead, they just never want to do it again. Because now they feel like shit, because you shat on their one effort to make fan art, and there's no one who else who made a piece of art, right? The bottom line is, I'm not picky. I'm appreciative of anything that anyone does for me or my streams. And I'm not going to be an elitist douchebag. Oh, this fan art is not up to my standard for something I could put on my stream. Oh, I'm going to reject this one and tell them, do better, screw off. No. And sadly, that's kind of the attitude people are having. Well, then you make fan art. Seriously, you make it. Because guess what? This person is just a person who volunteered and did it for free, just made something nice for the stream. This wasn't someone I paid to do it, and then the, the effort sucks, so I come back with constructive criticism. So, it's, seriously, grow up. And I mean that, because what you're doing is really nasty and negative, and it's not appreciated. So, stop it. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. 
Uh, shout out to King of Hypocrisy who says, I'll make you fan art for games if you unblock me on Twitter. I- I'm never unblocking you. Bent Boxer cheered and said, You're a great Street Fighter 2. Fact. Thank you, Bent Boxer. Uh, Critical for Days cheered again and said, I'm sorry about the cheer about the fan art, but it's still my opinion. You disagree with it, but I have a question. When is it right to criticize someone's work and when is it not, not right to? It's very simple, like I just explained. It's one thing if, okay, Phil's putting out a stream. Phil, you know, is wants to entertain us, but he also wants to make money doing it. He wants, you know, he wants us to support him. So we have the right to criticize his work to make it better. 100%, I am in agreement with you. 100%, yes. But someone out of the kindness of their heart creates fan art for free. They may not be skilled. They're the only person who even takes any effort to make a piece of fan art for a game. They make it and I use it. Now you shit all over it. No, sorry, that's not allowed. There's a time and a place, you know, I've sat, sadly, people, again, people think it's black and white. Either all criticism is okay, or no criticism is okay. Wrong. That's not the case. In the world is many shades of gray. And you need to look at things both objectively and subjectively. In this case, criticizing a piece of fan art like this and tearing it apart is wrong. And it's messed up. And you should know that. You know, maybe eventually in life you'll figure it out. But, you know, you have to weigh and balance these things. Pick your fights. Again, you want to improve the quality of my stream via you know, constructive criticism? Great. You want to tear apart some fan's fan art who's the only person who put any effort into doing anything at all? No. That's ridiculous. That's elitist. And that's very, very... Uh, I, I can't think of the word I'm thinking of. <clears throat> oh, entitled. There we go. It's being entitled. Oh, you're, this stream deserves better. Get the fuck out of here. Guys, this is a fun gameplay stream by a person who just wants to, to have fun and share gameplay experiences with you. We're not looking for high-end professional quality shit. We're not. <clears throat> Sorry, we're not. This has always been a one-man show. I do it by myself. I don't have anyone really to help me. And the people that do, you know, go out of their way to help me, I'm incredibly appreciative of. I'm not going to be an elitist, entitled jerk who rejects fan art because I, oh, uh, it looks like it's MS Paint. Well, well, screw off then. You know, then I don't deserve fan art at all if I'm going to have that kind of attitude. So you guys shouldn't have it either. <clears throat> so there you go. All right. Um, let's see here. Beppo Carrot tip me a buck and says, "Would you ever sail on a ship with Rikishi?" What? <laughs> uh, huh. I don't even know what that means. Why wouldn't I sail on a ship with Rikishi? I- I'm totally lost here. But thank you, Beppo Carrot, for the tip. However, now we've got a four-way tie, and now the, th- the 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 credit here is getting really long. What the fuck? It didn't click properly. Shit. Uh, if another person tips a buck, I can't add your name. <laughs> if you're going to tip me, tip a dollar and one cent so that we can <laughs> we can update this. Because it's getting out of control with the amount three people triple tie for a dollar tip. All right. Um, I love tits with another troll cheer. Poor people really want to try to do troll cheers today, and it's not going to work. I'm going to keep tearing you guys down. Another troll cheer here. Here we go. I guess you'll stop calling game devs lazy and shitting on them in front of hundreds, especially since you did poorly in computer science and developed games. No, moron. Because guess what? I paid for their game, stupid. I paid for their game. I paid for a quality product. Therefore, I have the right to criticize. If I'm running a stream and I'm asking for contributions, you have the right to criticize my stream. This person made fan art for free which I accepted and used, there's no right to criticize it. So, moron, thanks for the cheer. (laughs) But go ahead, keep them coming. Keep the stupid things coming so I can keep destroying you. Anyway, I got an anonymous dollar tip. Something about Shock Boy and Lava Girl. I I, I don't know what's going on. I just don't know what's going on. Uh, Battle Duck did another 100-bit cheer. He said, the point of fan art is to do creative work to show your liking of something by doing what you can, driven by your inspiration with any skills that you have, not to create AAA content. Holy crap, Battle Duck gets it. <clears throat> there you go. Battle Duck gets it. Thank you very much, Battle Duck. Uh, CM Fool has resubscribed to the channel for the 16th month in a row and asks, are you going to do PvP today? Well... 
from what I've seen, there's no active way to do PvP. Like, you can't tell where other humans are on the map. So I guess what has to happen is um, you have to just randomly run into someone. Now, if you remember, yesterday we did randomly run into a couple people who attacked us, and then we saw a small boat, but we didn't attack it. Maybe we will. I don't know. Today, the missions I'm going to do are combat-based. Like, we got a combat-based mission yesterday, and that's the first one I'm going to try to do today. <clears throat> so that's what I'll be focusing on. All right. All right. Uh, King of Hypocrisy did a stupid cheer that I'm not going to read. Ben Tatorship also or subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Ben Tatorship, for the subscription. I appreciate that. Combo Breaker just tipped me five bucks. So, c -c -c Combo Breaker. Very nice. Let's update the stream stats now. And we can get rid of this ginormous, stupid uh, bar. We can say Combo Breaker. Tip me five bucks. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Combo Breaker. You've now made the stream look a lot nicer. <laughs> you did. Uh, I Love Tits, once again, uh, decided to do another troll cheer that I didn't read, and he's banned from the chat because he's being an idiot, so goodbye. Bunny Baggins just tipped me a dollar and one cent, was attempting to overcome the other cheer, uh, tips, however someone else already did, but thank you, Money Baggins, regardless for that tip. I appreciate it. Uh, ben Tatorship did 100-bit cheers as, what do you think of The Last of Us Part Two and rumors it's coming this year? Uh, I don't really have any thoughts. We've seen no gameplay. We've heard, we've heard almost only rumors. Um, <clears throat> what I do get the feeling is that we will get a lot of details and information at E3. As I said many times already, I feel that this E3 this year will be huge. This E3 this year, we're going to get so much information about games that we've only had little tidbits of information about up to this point. <clears throat> we're probably going to get a ridiculous amount of release dates for big high-profile releases. It's going to be a big one. I really am feeling that this, uh, <clears throat> this uh, E3 will be ginormous, okay? I really do feel it's going to be ginormous. So I guess we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I really don't have uh, any information in regards to Last of Us 2. There you go. All right. So, let's see here. Is there anything else going on? No, I think we're good. How many subs do we have right now? Do we go up or are these just resubs? Let's double check here. We're up to 440. Nice. Subs are up. So we're 10 away from 450 and 60 away from hitting the goal. It's definitely doable. As I told you guys, it's definitely doable. 100% we can hit 500 by the end of this month. We just got to keep people motivated, right? <clears throat> okay. So thanks to all of you for your cheers, your subs, and your tips. I appreciate it very much. I say thank you very much for everything that you've contributed. And uh, and there you go. Wow, Bowser Shop just left a troll cheer. You are now banned because you've now done this about, you know, four times this week and I've had enough of you. Uh, I literally just said like five times during pre-stream that I could be criticized. But someone who makes fan art shouldn't be. And Bowser Chomp said, Phil, why can't you be criticized, but everyone else can? You're an idiot. Goodbye. Enough. We're tired of you wasting our time here. Goodbye. Keep your, your quarters to yourself. <laughs> Throw me quarters on stream to be annoying. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> All right. Walk the plank, me matey. There. I forgot I'm playing Sea of Thieves. Walk the flank, you scurvy dog. All right. <clears throat> All right, everyone. So that's it. Thank you. For your cheer subs, tips, and contributions so far. Thanks for being patient during pre-stream. It's now time to get set up for today's co-op stream of Sea of Thieves. Reminder, cheer subs, and tips, you get shout-outs. We have the stream stats that will be updated live when I get a chance. As well as, uh, you know, I'm very appreciative of any of you who tip me. Because right now, tips are the big thing. If you tip me, it helps me with this tax situation coming up in April. And will allow me to continue to keep my house and do this for a daily basis. So there you go. <clears throat> All right. That is it, guys. Let us now get ready with Sea of Thieves. Thanks very much. Let's begin. Oh, DLB Fool just subscribed to the channel with Twitch Prime. Very nice. And I'm wondering. Yes, 
We are now up to 441 subs. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Okay. All right, let's get set up. Thanks, everybody. And let's begin. 